So just a quick video showing how to set up our drawing from Archicad into taking into LaserCut. So what we can sort of do off the top, look at our stories, just sort of identify what's got nothing on it. So that's got nothing. Yeah, it got stuff there. Um, not really anything on the ground. So I'm going to select these three and this, and it's just holding the control button. Right click and delete this story. Delete anyway. If I go to my 3D view, um, cool, I can see I got rid of all the stuff I wanted so far, pretty much. Click on this roof, get rid of that. Um, get rid of this top slab, and I might try and get rid of this slab in here as well. If I can select it. So sometimes you've got to move around in order to get to it. Great. So with that out of the way, we can next go to our section views, and let's just assume that you've got everything set up. Um, so we've got four section views here, but notice that there's a couple of things we don't want. Um, I don't know what's going on with that wall, so we'll try and fix that in a sec, as well as trying to get rid of this. Um, so that's the story settings. So we go back to our generic perspective. If I press Control F, it's the same as going to edit and um, find all, so Control F, change this property to wall, and then press the plus, this will select all of our walls. If we press Control T, this will allow us to do a couple of things. So if we go in here, we can select all of our materials and say that it's going to be a surface white. Mm -hmm, surface white. Don't seem to see it. Ah, there we are, surface white up here, great. Um, I don't think you've got this option, but align texture to wall edges might help. And we might just scroll through here. Wall end lines. Change that to none. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference for us. Great. And we want to make sure this button is pressed, which just links to these all saying that they're the same thing. Uh, and if we press this wall exterior brick, um, might leave that, but we'll change this one up here from the cavity and we might just change it to a plywood partition and we'll press OK. So that's modified some stuff. If we go back to our section view, hopefully that's taken care of some issues for us. Is that wall still there, but it's actually fine now. So that's good. So now we've just got to get rid of some other details. Um, so there's sort of three things that we want to remove at this stage. And we can actually do them for all of our section views at the same time. Likewise, we can do all of our elevations. So I select one of my section views, hold down the shift button and select at the top. I've got all four selected at the same time. And what I can now do is go into settings. And in settings, I'm going to do a couple of things. So if I go to up the top to marker, and I'm just going to change this to say no marker. So where it says built-in section marker, make it no marker. Uh, next, I'm going to just minimize that, come to model display. Um, again, just minimize to we see sun and shadow, and just want to make sure that this sun shadow is unticked. Uh, the last thing, again, minimize that, is go to story levels, and we're just going to change display and output to none. And this should get rid of all of that sort of stuff. Brilliant. Cool. So that's pretty good. So next, in terms of putting it on the sheet, we just come over here, as we already know, to layout book, um, go to the designs, so these are section views, just double click on this section sheet. Now you can see my drawings haven't come in, and that's fine. If I just select these and get them out of the way by selecting it, pressing the delete button. Uh, if I come back to my project map, I can just select one view at a time, right click, save view, and place on layout, and I can just then click here. Um, good procedure if we start at the top and just sort of start working our way down, so save view and place on layout and just sort of work um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as we need uh, so that way we can kind of keep track of um, our objects and our models. So save view and place on layout again and I'll do my last one here. So obviously this is not my complete model but this is uh, enough to just sort of get us going at this stage. So hopefully this sort of um, takes care of us in Archicad. Basically if you zoom in we don't want to see any sort of shaded in areas and that looks fine. That's something we can fix up in Illustrator. So the next step is to take it into Illustrator. So what we need to do is go to File, uh, Save As, 
and we're going to come down and we're going to make it into a DWG file. So save as type, DWG. And with this translator, let's just change that to the bottom one, which is special built-in translator. I'm going to rename this as DWG. Make sure you know what folder that's going into. If I click on save, that will save. It should just take a moment. Great. So now if I go to that folder where it's saved, here's my DWG. I can right click on it and I can then um, open with Adobe Illustrator. Now I've got a couple of options here. Now basically I recommend that you go to uh, original size, change the scale to be one to one and make sure this says millimeters. It's going to say points um, by default. So if we press OK, um, hopefully our object will come in. Um, so we're in Illustrator. If I hold down the control button and press minus, I can zoom out. If I hold control and press plus, I zoom in. Just going to, with the arrow tool selected, um, select a couple of things and just try and delete some stuff. So basically there's a lot of junk. Um, basically we don't want the title block and whatnot at this stage, so we can get rid of that. So again, just drawing a selection over it and um, pressing the delete button. Wonderful. So I've got these objects here. I'm just going to move them somewhere so I can see them for now. All right. So you notice that they're all the same size. Great. So if I zoom in, wonderful. It's all there. So what I'm going to do now is um, with the selection tool selected, I'm going to press Control A, which will select all of my objects. And I'm going to come up to stroke and type in 0.01. This is what we need to have our laser cutter actually understand our drawing. So if I change it to 0.01, you'll notice that this drawing looks a lot different. Now what I can do is sort of zoom in and start to get rid of, get rid of duplicate lines and things that I don't need to see. So at the moment we've, we're seeing two stories, so ideally you're going to do one story at a time. Um, but let's just look in here and we can sort of see there's a lot of duplicates. So if I select one line and delete it, I can probably do that a few times. What I can do is, again, with the selection tool, I can just draw a little square around it. And then if I hold down the shift button and just select one, and I can then uh, press delete, and that will hopefully get rid of all of the duplicate lines behind it. Next, you'll see that I'm looking at it through a doorway. Um, I don't want to worry about cutting anything out that's inside the door. That's just going to be junk. So let's just save some time and select it and press the delete button. Okay. So that looks clear. Again, a little bit more junk. Let's get rid of that etc. So I hope that sort of makes sense. Um, so basically from here, if we get rid of all of our rubbish, and let's say that we have, um, I can now draw a selection around each of my views, and then if I come up at the top to Object and Group. Okay, so if I do that with all of them, the same thing, I can select and press Control G. And I'll just zoom out and do the same over here. Control G, Control G. What I'm now going to do is just move them so that everything's sort of nice and close together. And the idea is that I'm going to try and, you know, use as little material as possible. Okay, so in theory, let's say that I've got all of my elevation views here. I can then um, save that, make all of my section views, and I can just merge them into the same document by just selecting all, copying, and pasting. The last thing I need to do in order to make this um, actually get laser cut is to change the color to cut. So if I select all of my lines, so again, I can draw a selection tool or press Control A. I can come up here and this is basically my fill color and that's my, sorry, that's my stroke color and that's my fill color. If I press in here, you notice that I've got an A color. So if I just double click it, great, color mode needs to be RGB. And we're just going to change RGB to be red, full value, 255, and then G and B, leave it zero. If I press OK and just have a look here, Again, we can see I've got some duplicates that I need to get rid of. Um, so I haven't done a very good job here yet, obviously. But when you've gotten rid of all of your um, objects, that so it's nice and clean like this first drawing, you're ready to laser cut. Hope that helps. Um, if you don't understand something, please go back and watch it.